there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Please and thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, guys. What are we talking about today? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Man, how was your weekend, guys? Anything new happened this weekend? He dropped out! <laughs> he dropped out! <laughs> <laughs> Gen Z, we need to band together. <laughs> Please. He was for Gen Z's first president. <gasps> don't say you don't say let's um let's check in on van jones but if you're a young person watching this this is leadership this is patriotism this is what it means to put the country first and put the party first and put the cause first when your arm gets tired you let somebody else finish pitching the game that's what joe biden has done and he's done that for all of us and so i just want to say i don't know who's going to be the vp the non-vp i don't know anything about politics i just know that i love this man i care about this man it was painful every day to sit up here and talk about him like he's just a you know some some problem for the party wait till we get to the convention you're going to see people crying standing screaming cheering he may not get a chance to talk for 10 minutes we finally get a chance to put our arm around this guy. He did the right thing for this country. He did the right thing for this party. All of us are going to be in this situation someday. And I hope that we take a moment to honor this man and to love this man. I love Joe Biden. I appreciate what he's done. And a lot of people uh, are heartbroken today. Even if it's the right thing, it's still just horrible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought Joe Scarborough said that Joe Biden is the best version ever. I don't really, you know what? I don't really care. Cut. Start your tape right now, because I'm about to tell you the truth. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not a close second. And I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. And didn't. Joe Biden says the only way he get out the race is God Almighty come down and get him out. Well, yeah, sure. Look, I mean, if the Lord Almighty came out and said, Joe, get out of the race, I get out of the race, the Lord Almighty's not coming down. So I guess Obama is the Messiah after all. Hmm. Unbelievable. Now, here's the irony here. Now, Joe Biden is the president of the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion. So he appointed Kamala Harris as his VP, a DEI vice president. Mr. Yeah. Vice President, if I could just follow up. Just to be clear, you just committed here tonight that your running mate, if you get the nomination, will be a woman? Yes. Right. Okay. Now, now that Joe Biden has stepped down and he's not seeking re-election, he nominates Miss Harris, but there's a problem here. There's two problems here, racism and sexism. 
it's almost like public opinion hasn't caught up with what she is doing out there. And also we live in a country that is sexist and racist. So like there is that not everybody at all, but there is a level of it that does impact elections. Now, before you get there now, you know that the Republicans have nothing to do with this. All right. They're over here minding their own business. They got their own problems over here. So this is all a Democrat thing. Ms. Harris have to overcome racism and sexism. And who is running this party? Who is running this party? Black ass Obama. I think he identifies as a man. And Nancy Pelosi. I think she identifies as a woman. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that, Kamala? Think about what that means. And so I think about... Because think about it. <laughs> and every day then think about this. And you know, when you think about it, just think about it. Just think about it. And think about it. Cause just think about it. Cause just think about it. Think about it. Think about that. And let's think about it. I drink, I eat, and drink no for breakfast. <laughs> hmm, I never thought about that, Kamala. Yeah, good. But you know what I didn't think of? Unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, you did this to yourself. Now, if Trump has did his two terms, right now, y'all probably been running against Mike Pence. We all know Mike Pence is a lame, right? You probably could have beat Mike Pence. But now, since you cheated, since you stuffed ballots, since you finagged the system in your, your primaries, now you got a stronger Trump, and now you have to deal with J.D. Vance. Once Trump does his four years, J.D. Vance is going to run, and he's going to do two terms. So you're looking like 12 years down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. And thank you, Democrats. Thank you, Obama. Yeah, Obama destroyed the party. Yep. The Republican Party are united. The Democrat Party is fractured. Aww. And the black women in the party is going to tell you who to vote for. Only thing that matters in this election is keeping... Donald Trump and Project 2025 out of power, keeping that in, in, insane ideology of white Christian nationalism and white supremacy and white male Christian dominance out of power. That's all that matters. I genuinely don't care who the Democratic nominee is. And I'm being real. I don't care. If it's Biden, fine. If it's Kamala Harris, fabulous, right? But it's going to be one of the two of them. Let's just not play crazy games now there there are rules the way that this process works it's one of the two of them either one i don't care or if you you want to parachute somebody else in and they not him they not the orange one they not the one who quotes hitler fine put him in i don't care because all that matters i'm gonna say this to y'all again all that matters in this upcoming election is that you keep that man and that project 2025 plan out of power <laughs> stay over there please that party is for the, let's be honest, no. and the the Transformers, no. black women, pedos. Y'all stay over there. That's your party. All right? <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn.